my little party animals. Hip Hip Renee here today with a brand new renovation for you. And this is a budget battle renovation. So I'm sure that you've noticed if you have been on my channel for really kind of any length of time, every month Havana Sims has been doing a like a renovation battle. So we started off by doing the lounge out in Willow Creek. Then we moved on and we did the goth house. And now we are remodeling the Streamlit Single, which is, of course, in Willow Creek. It is a base game house. We did not have to use base game. I did not use base game. But we had to remodel the house and keep it as a starter house. So when you download it from the gallery, it could not be any more than 18,500 simoleons or if it is on a lot, 20,000 simoleons. That is as much as you are able to do. Don't furnish it any more than that. Don't build it any more than that. But we were allowed to change a lot of it, which was really interesting. So I did end up going completely off my rocker as far as how I normally do my renovations. You guys, again, if you've been on my channel any length of time, I have some opinions about renovations, guys. <laughs> I have some major opinions about renovations. I really like doing realistic renovations. And when I say realistic renovations, I mean when you are renovating a house in real life, unless you are a house flipper or you have a ton of money, chances are you're not going to be tearing down the entire house and basically rebuilding a new one. You're also not going to be adding three feet of a wall section to the outside of your house just to extend a room three feet. If you're going to add like you know, a section to the outside of your house, you're probably going to be adding an entirely new room. You're also not going to be deleting all of the rooms within your house or all of the walls within your house because that's really expensive. And there's walls that are load bearing walls. And if you tear them down, the whole house is going to come down with it. It's just like you can't just go into a normal, everyday, regular house and just kind of tear down whatever you want all willy-nilly. Even just things like moving plumbing is a task in itself. Like, it's nearly impossible unless you have, like I said, a lot of money. So I kind of went away from what I normally do. Normally, again, I do realistic renovations, but mama's in it to win it today. So I did want to make sure that I was, you know, making the house look as nice as possible because this is probably one of the ugliest houses I've ever seen in The Sims. I, I don't like this house. I appreciate it for what it is. It is a solid starter home. It works when you first move your Sims in. I move my Sims into this house all the time. I really do. I use this house very, very frequently, but it's not my favorite house. So I had a lot of fun going in and remodeling this. It was very challenging with the budget. I really wanted to make sure I was staying, you know, as close to that 20,000 simoleons as possible. But Havana Sims also, there's a few packs that she doesn't have. So I wasn't able to use Strangerville. And I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about this before. In Strangerville, the doors and windows in Strangerville are very inexpensive. They are absolutely perfect for budget builds. You get these really big, beautiful doors. You get these really awesome windows. And they're only around 50, 000, or 50 simoleons, 50,000 simoleons. That would be insane. Could you imagine? They're only around 50 simoleons each. Whereas you get into like the base game and some of the other packs that we have. And some of these doors and windows are like 150 to 200 simoleons. It's really ridiculous. So having Strangerville is something that I really am enjoying when I'm doing budget builds because it's so easy to put in all of this really nice detail using their doors and windows and not having to worry so much about your budget. But you know, it is what it is. Hopefully we can get Havana Sims on the Strangerville train. We did get her to get Jungle Adventures, which is good because I did use Jungle Adventures furniture in this build because I was so excited that I was finally able to use it in one of her collabs. But we have a ton of people in this collab and I do just want to briefly mention everybody that's in this collab. 
So obviously there is Havana Sims who put this together for us. She did a wonderful job as always. Of course, there's myself. Then we have Carrie Plays, B-Ray Sunny, Maple Simmer, Ashuria, Brie Simulated, Sweet Pea Simmer, Melanin Sims 2000, Bubbly Zen, Sharagon, Lilac Lydia Dietz, Sama Sugar, and Nora. So we have a lot of people in this collab. And if you have not seen us do a battle before, a renovation battle or budget battle or whatever it is that we are doing, basically all of us have to go through and remodel the same lot. So the first time we did it, we did the lounge in Willow Creek. Again, the second time that we did it, we did the goth house. So now we are doing this one. And basically what happens is Havana Sims, first off, she streams on Twitch and she kind of goes through all of our builds and showcases them, which I think is super cool. It's really sweet of her to do that. But on top of that, she also creates a like a Google document kind of thing where you can vote for who you think did the best renovation. So that is why it's called a renovation battle, because we really are all battling each other to see who gets the most votes, who you know did the best as far as the renovation is concerned. I have not won either of the renovation battles yet. I came, I think, pretty close on the first one, but I didn't quite make it. And the last one was the goth house, and I just, I had a time with that one, guys. <laughs> it was really bad. It was not good. So I was not expecting to win that one. But if you are interested, the link to vote for your favorite is going to be down in the description box below once I have that link, which should be right around the time this video is going up anyway. But make sure that you go through and you take a little peek at what everybody else did. Of course, I would love for you to just go over there and vote for me, but let's make this fair and go see what everybody else did as well. Because if you do feel like somebody else did a better job than me, I'm not gonna be mad. <laughs> I'm not gonna be mad if you think that somebody else deserves the bragging rights over the next month instead of me. So if you find something that you enjoy more than this one, by all means, vote for that person. But otherwise, make sure you vote for Hip Hip Renee, because I would love to win one of these renovation battles. I really would. So going into this house, I didn't really have kind of any clear direction as far as, you know, what type of sim would live here, which is a thing that I typically do in my videos. I really try and make sure that when I am building houses, I have a specific type of person in mind. And I feel like that really, it really helps to streamline me as far as building and the types of items that I'm putting in and how I am decorating the house. Because, you know, one person is not going to like the same things as another person. If I was building a house for myself, I would put in entirely different furniture than if I was building a house for, say, my mother. Me and my mother have very different tastes as far as decorating houses, which is totally fine. But I'm not going to build the same or furnish the same way for me that I would for her. But going into this one, I really knew that I just needed to be careful with my budget. So instead of coming up with like a sim that was living here, what I did is I created like a house flipper sim. So he is flipping this house. He has come in, he has renovated it, and this is basically just his show furniture. So this is just kind of like the stuff that they put into an empty house to kind of make it feel a little bit more homey when you are going through and buying a house. It's called staging. If you guys watch any sort of HGTV show, they do staging on it constantly. And it really kind of helps you to sell a house because when you go into a house and that you're looking to buy and it's empty, it's almost kind of hard to picture like, where would I put everything? Where would I fit everything? So a lot of realtors, if they're selling, you know, it could be a house that is brand new that was just built and they stage one of the houses just to kind of show this is where you can put your things, blah, blah, blah. Or maybe it's, you know, just a house that's been empty and vacant for a while. So they want to, you know, kind of up the possibility of selling the house so they will stage the house. So this is kind of the idea that I was going for was that he had staged this house rather than somebody actually physically lives here. 
So I didn't really go too crazy with the clutter. Of course, I really kind of couldn't <laughs> because I didn't have a lot of budget to work with, unfortunately. But I think it turned out pretty darn cute. I went with a lot of neutral colors as far as the floors and the doors and the walls. And I feel like, again, that's another thing that you do when you are trying to sell a house. You, you really want to try and paint everything as neutral as possible before you sell the house because for some reason, people are cuckoo crazy and they walk into a house that they're thinking about buying and they go, oh, this wall is red, ew. And then that's like a deal breaker for some reason for the house. Like they don't realize that they can just go to Home Depot and buy some paint, slap some paint on the wall. I don't know. So painting your house in a neutral color, that is a way that you can sell your house a little bit quicker if that's something, you know, that you're looking to do. You want to sell your house. You don't want to have, you know, if you have a child and they have a hot pink bedroom, maybe that's not quite as appealing to, say, an older couple that's looking to buy the house. They don't want to have to paint. So bringing in all those neutral tones really does kind of help. Just trying to go around now and do as much decorating as I possibly could. I was starting to run out of money at this point. If you notice, I only have about 1,200 simoleons left here. So I was trying to be very cautious as far as what I was spending my money on and I really was checking prices at this point because again there's some items that you pick up and you don't realize how expensive they are until you place them and you're like wow that was a $300 bench that's that's a lot of money for what looks to be a wooden bench. <laughs> I did end up getting an easel in here so you do have a little bit of skill building which is perfect for, you know, kind of a starter sim. I feel like skill building with painting is probably your best bet when you first move into a house with a sim. You can make a ton of money that way if that's something that you're looking to do. And I did manage to get a bookshelf in here as well. So you do have a bookshelf and just like an easel for some skill building, nothing super crazy. This house does work. I did test it, which is extremely surprising because I never play test my houses. But we are now, of course, into the screenshot. So I hope you enjoyed this budget battle. If you think that I did the best job at renovating this beautiful home, make sure that you click in the link down below and go vote for me. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up down below. If you're new here or you're not new here and you're not subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that little bell so you get notifications every single time I post a new video. And be sure to check out Havana Sims on Twitch later today so you can watch her tour all of our lovely houses. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.